Welcome everyone, in this video we will be proving the inverse Pythagorean theorem. Well, you might be saying, alright, I know the Pythagorean theorem from like 6th or 7th grade, but what is the inverse of it? Well, let me show you. And to do that, I will draw myself a triangle. Alright, and this angle will be a right angle, and I will name the sides as follows, A, B, and C. So, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So for this proof, we will think that we know this to be right, and this is indeed right. But I won't be proving this, which we could do if you want in another video, I can do that. This actually has a very elegant proof. This has a, lot, a lots of proof. A lot of people prove this because it is so, so famous. But yeah, I can provide one proof as well. And as I said, this is given, all right? We take this as, we take this granted. Uh, we assume that this is correct and we will show that, we will prove that. One over h squared is equal to one over a squared plus one over b squared. Well, we have a problem here because I didn't label anything as h on our triangle. So let me do that. H is the height drawn to the uh, to the side C, to the hypotenuse of our triangle. Okay, so actually, let me do that with a different color. So this is the height, all right? This is H. So we want to sh show that this equation, uh, the so-called, in the inverse Pythagorean theorem is right. So how can we do this? Well, we start off by considering the area of our triangle. I will use capital A for the area. And what is the area? Well, you can call it 1 over 2, A times B. This is right. But you could also say it is also equal to 1 over 2 times C times H. And as you can see, from this equality, from this equation, 1 over 2 cancel. And we have that, we have that A times B is equal to C times H. And if we, yeah, if we square both sides in this equation, what do we have? Well, what we have is we have A squared, B squared is equal to C squared and H squared. Okay, uh, now, as you can see in the inverse Pythagorean theorem, in this equation, we don't have c so it is it is obvious that we will substitute for c so instead of c squared i will be writing a squared plus b squared from the pythagorean theorem so this is why we took this as given this is where this comes handy uh, so we write uh, yeah so we substitute Let me do this now. All right, this looks uh, this looks fine. So from this step, what we can do is we can hmm, what can we do? Think about this. You could say, all right, we can stop here. We expressed H in terms of A and B. You could stop here, but our goal is to show that the Pythagorean theorem is right. We want to show this. To be right, so we can't actually stop here. We will need to do a little bit of uh, algebraic manipulation to arrive at the to uh, arrive at the desired equation. So what we can do is, well, we can divide both sides by a squared plus b squared. What would that give us? Well, that would give us, and. Actually, you know what, let me do, dry, divide both sides by a squared plus, I mean a squared times b squared. I think this will save us a little bit of time. Actually, let's take a step even further. Let's divide both sides by a squared times b squared times h squared. All right, this is what we will do. This will make the steps much simpler. And I want to do this on another page. So just 
keep this equation in your mind so that you are sure that I'm not tricking you in this new page. So what we have? Well, we have, all right, a squared and b squared cancel. They simplify. We have one over h squared is equal to. Of course, here, uh, h squared cancel, and we have this quantity. b squared over a squared times b squared and if you know your uh, middle school math we you know that we can separate this as this right this is what it is and from this you can see that we can simplify a squares in the first term and b squares in the second term so that we are left with we are left with 1 over b squared plus 1 over a squared all right we the left hand side of our equation is this and the right side is this which is of course telling us 1 over a squared is equal to 1 over a squared plus 1 over b squared which was the equation that we were hoping to prove and we indeed proved the Pythagorean, I mean the inverse Pythagorean theorem by using the Pythagorean theorem and considering the area of our triangle. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any comments or suggestions, uh, please do not hesitate to ask them in the comment section. And I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.